stop don't throw those ripe bananas away because in today's episode of yummy by mummy i'm going to make ice cream smoothie and pancakes so let's go bananas these recipes will soon be available in many indian languages you will find the link in the description below but before we start don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for live updates one warning these recipes are so dangerously simple and easy that anybody can make them also they are so nutritious and healthy for kids so let's begin with these scrumptious banana pancakes the ingredients are 2 ripe bananas 2 to 4 teaspoon sugar i have taken brown sugar because it is a healthy option half cup water 1/4 cup milk 1 cup flour oil cardamom powder and salt to taste banana is lakshu's favorite fruit and i always end up buying a dozen but every time the last two three overripe bananas are left untouched nobody touches them so when i make these recipes at least we are not wasting them by using them to make delicious dishes <laughs> Peel the bananas and place it in a large mixing bowl. Smash them with a fork till they get somewhat runny and squishy. This recipe was one of the first recipes that I learned from my mama when I was in school. I used to love having this for my breakfast. Nice and sweet. I always had a sweet tooth. Still do. All right, now let's come back to our bowl. So let's smash smash smash. You will have loads of fun doing this and it's easier if the bananas are ripe. You like banana? How much do you like banana? Infinity. How many bananas can you fit inside infinity? How many? Bigger. How many? One. And One. Bigger. One and bigger. Once done, we'll add flour to the bananas and give it a good mix. I like to keep experimenting so I will be changing my video posting schedule. I will now be uploading the mommy vlogs on Tuesdays instead of Fridays and yummy by mommy videos on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Then we'll add 1/4 cup milk. Keep mixing it. Our batter is now nice and sticky. You can add white sugar. I prefer brown to white cause it's healthier. If you've seen my previous recipes, I have always used brown sugar. Click on the link above to see some sweet dishes. Let's add some brown sugar. Then we'll add a pinch of salt and crushed cardamom and fold it nicely with a whisker. The cardamom powder is added to kill the pungent taste of bananas. Next, add water to the batter and the remaining milk. The batter should be medium thick consistency. While you're mixing it, why don't you click on the link above to see how Indian moms react to different situations during the day. If you like this video, do me a favor. Do share with your friends, family and everybody. Our batter is now ready. Some people may even like to put eggs, but I love it this way. Let's put the pan on the gas and heat it for some time. Put half a teaspoon oil on the heated pan and 1 tablespoon full batter on the pan just like a mini pancake. Place it with oil on the sides. When the edges are firm, turn over and cook the opposite side. The pancake should be medium brown in color, just like this. Keep cooking it in medium flame. For this pancake, we need a little extra oil for it to cook properly. Press it gently so that the sides are cooked well. Flip it once more and you are done. Serve these delicious hot banana pancakes to your kids with a dollop of whipped cream on it or chocolate sauce. 
You can even give them plain. They will love it anyways. The second recipe is the banana ice cream. It is the simplest of all. Take three bananas, peel them, put them on a plate that can go easily into a freezer. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Freeze it for two hours. Let's make a banana ice cream. Take the frozen bananas out and dump them into a mixer or a food processor. Then mix, mix, mix. If you're having problem with big lumps, add some milk in it and keep mixing it till the paste is smooth. Caution ahead, the mixer might make funny sounds. But don't you worry, it'll be okay. Once done, it should look like this, nice and creamy. Tastes awesome and it is healthy too because we are not adding any artificial flavor in it. You can serve it as it is or you can put them back into the freezer and enjoy it on a hot sunny day. Last recipe is the banana oatmeal smoothie. It can be a great breakfast recipe when you are in a rush. So the ingredients are one medium to large size banana, one fourth cup instant oatmeal, three fourth cup frozen milk or you can take some ice cubes instead. But I like to put my milk half an hour into the freezer so that it's nice and frozen and I don't need ice cubes in it. One to two teaspoon peanut butter, crushed almonds and one teaspoon honey. In a mixer, let's take a medium to large size banana, 1 4th cup oatmeal, 3 4th cup frozen milk, 1 teaspoon honey, 2 teaspoon peanut butter. Looks so tempting at this point. Let's put the lid and blend it. rushing in the morning and do not have time to fix breakfast for your little one, this could be just a perfect breakfast. Now our power packed banana oatmeal smoothie is ready. Garnish it with crushed almonds or give them 5 almonds with a glass of smoothie. Kids will love it. Mums will love it too because it is loaded with complex carbohydrate, protein, iron. It cannot get easier than this. A perfect start to a healthy day. I hope you like these recipes. Do let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, A Classic Mom.